welcome back to the Graceful Tangle YouTube channel. I'm Amy Kate. Thank you so much for taking some time to join me today. I am so excited about today's video. It's a little bit of a different um, type video than I usually do here on the channel, but I am really excited to kind of just um, share my thoughts on this subject and my experience over the past year and what I would recommend um, and stuff like that. It's just going to be a really good conversation. Um, a couple of things up front. If you are new to the channel, thank you so much for taking some time to join me today. I hope that you like what you see and choose to like and subscribe. Um, a little bit of an explanation. Um, I typically publish knit and crochet videos, tutorials, a podcast bi-weekly, um, stuff like that. I am a knit and crochet designer and that is the heart of this channel. However, in today's video, I'm going to be breaking down something that I did, um, over this past year, which is reading the Bible in a year. So in my bi-weekly podcast, I have a little devotional segment and that has become such a beautiful part of that, um, video. And I kind of shared some about this journey um, throughout the course of 2022 and then a little bit more at the beginning of this year, um, kind of like recapping it, if you will. And I got so much interest for a video um, completely separate that was just about this. And so that is what this video is. I hope to launch more videos like this in the future. So definitely let me know your thoughts in the comments or send an email to the address listed down in the description box. And um, there's also gonna be lots of other links down there to check out such as the um, schedule that I followed last year, the Bible that I'm using this year, um, and stuff like that. So without further ado, let's go ahead and hop into the video. Alrighty, so in 2022, I decided to uh, make myself the goal or the challenge, if you will, to read the entire Bible entire bible in a year in chronological order um so typically the bible is um written from genesis to revelation old testament and then the new testament um however the events that the that the bible is written in are not necessarily the events that the that they actually happened in um and so reading it chronologically kind of takes you through creation to the birth of jesus to the resurrection to revelation um all in one and so that is how I decided to read the entire Bible in a year. Um, I did some research at the beginning of 2022 and found a schedule. Um, I printed it off and followed it every single day. Um, here are like the pages that I have. Um, these are very worn because they were they have been in my Bible for a year. Um, but you can see at the beginning of January in 2022. Um, I like it's all it's divided up into days first second third etc um and then it's just lists a specific um place in the bible to read that day and so I just read that every day and checked it off as I went um and it was great it was it was so good um a couple of things that I wanted to mention um for me and my personality I knew that I would be able to uphold a a schedule like this, I knew that if I printed it off and set myself the goal to check it off every day, I would do it because that's just, um, like I said, kind of part of my personality. It can be a good thing and a bad thing for sure. Um, in this case, it was a good thing. It was a good way to apply that point of myself and to stay or stick with um, something that I started at the beginning of the year. I also kind of realized, like, I guess kind of towards the end of 2021 and 2022, um, like at the beginning of the year, I realized that I have been a Christian for quite a while now, but I have not read the Bible cover to cover, if you will. Um, and that's something that I wanted to be able to do. It's something I wanted to be able to say that I've done, not from like a boastful standpoint, but just from um, like Psalms uh, 119 says, I have hidden these words in my heart that I might not sin against you. And that that was my heart behind it. I wanted to, I wanted to have these words hidden. Um, I wanted to be able to speak life over people, offer encouragement. That's such a huge part of, of this channel and this platform. I want to be able to encourage as many makers as I can. Um, and the best way to do that is to have Jesus inside of me. So that was kind of my heart behind um, this challenge and then doing it chronologically um, with this specific plan that I followed kind of ensured that I was going to be able to finish in a sense. Um, so I will link the exact plan that I used um, in the description box below if you want to follow it. Obviously, we're already in, you know, halfway through the month in 2023, the first of the month. Um, so 
if you were to start a Bible in a year challenge now, maybe you'd be a little bit behind, but that's also not the point. You can start now and finish a little bit in 2024. You can start now and catch up. Um, it's never too late to start. It's never too late to get into his word. And um, there's not a right and wrong way to do it. It's just open the book and read. That's literally it. Um, I, like I said, I wanted to be able to read the entire thing over the course of one year. So that's the plan that I decided to do. Um, and I'm so glad that I did it. But again, there's also so many other plans out there. There's like, uh, you know, read the Bible in multiple years or um, read the New Testament in a year or just read a book in a month or um, something along along those lines. Um, so a few things I kind of wanted to mention that was like my heart behind um, actually taking on this, this challenge, if you will. Um, Another big part of it is I wanted to be super consistent in getting into the Word every day. It's something that I had been doing for um, quite a few years. I was homeschooled from uh, sixth grade through my senior year of high school. Um, and so a huge part of that was um, just Jesus learning with, with Jesus being the center of all of the curriculums that we did, all of the, each task, uh, he was the center of it. And so I had been getting into the word, into the Bible reading, um, daily for years, but at the same time, I wanted to do something that was more, um, you know, not necessarily something to check off, but something that I wanted to do. A huge thing I learned about in 2022 was spiritual hunger, and that's um, having the desire to spend time with God, to spend time in His Word, to um, like an ache to to want to learn more, and that's something that I really wanted to grow and harvest in myself. Um, and because of this, I did that because it was it was a routine at that point. It was getting up and reading, um, and then doing a couple of other things that I'll mention later as well um and it just was a transformative year in that sense and giving me that hunger to to be in his word and um, one of my favorite verses that i um was really encouraged by i believe it's mark um six eight i think is the right reference um but it says come with me to a quiet place and get some rest and it's just such a beautiful line from jesus it's it's inviting him to be present wherever you are but then to also set aside a certain time to be with just him and you. Um, it can be really hard to find that depending on what season of life that you're in, but sometimes that means getting up 15 minutes earlier than you would typically would and opening the word the first thing you do or staying up a little bit later than you typically would or, um, you know, doing it on your lunch break if you're at work, you know, whatever the case may be. Um, I can almost guarantee there's, there's that short time in the middle of a day or during a day um, to spend time with him and that is beautiful and it's it's precious to be able to to spend that time devoted to him and devoted to his word and to only seek and learn and grow um in him so that's what i did in 2022 um i did complete it i finished it um like i said it was such a beautiful journey there were parts of it that you can pretty easily get stuck in such as exodus or job kind of at the beginning um you're in the old testament for i'm trying to remember i think i didn't get into the new testament until either late August or September. Um, and then once you hit the New Testament, it goes pretty fast. So it can definitely be easy to kind of feel like you're missing something or feel like you're not understanding something um, because you are, I mean, it's, the Bible is a big book and you're reading it in a year, only a little bit each day. So it does go fast. Um, but for me, I kind of made like the conscious decision to potentially miss some things or not understand everything as I, like as, as best I could in that moment, um, so that I could finish the full experience. And then this year I'm doing the same thing. I'm reading the Bible chronologically, um, again within a year and already, you know, like I said, only a little over, I guess, actually I'm filming this on January 20th. So we're a little over halfway through the month, I guess, but, um, I'm already just like making those connections in my mind quicker than I did last year and just remembering what I read and being able to get more out of it this year. Um, and that's really beautiful and a sign of really just amazing growth in him. And I am, I'm so excited about that. I'm so excited for what this year holds because of that. Um, so yeah, now this year, I wanted to talk about this because I already love this and it is what i would recommend to anybody who wants to set out to read the bible um chronologically in a year because i believe that it is i hesitate to say easiest because it's not 
you know, that's not the hood of it. It's not supposed to be easy, but at the same time, it makes this method makes it so doable. Um, and that is this Bible. So this is the, um, one year chronological study Bible. It is the Bible written chronologically instead of, you know, necessarily Genesis to Revelation. Um, it's a little bit out of order in terms of, in terms of the order of the books of the Bible, but again, it's written chronologically. Um, and so every single day, um, it's listed off into dates. So like just flipping to January 18th, um, it'll say day 18, um, up at the top, I have a little bitty passage for you to read and then a section to read that day. It's only a few pages. Um, and then at the end of every day, there are all a few review questions, um, called daily discovery. So there's just three questions. That's kind of recapping what was discussed, um, in, in the word that day. Um, and it really just makes you think and makes you kind of, um, apply yourself a little bit more to reading, get more out of it because you're thinking about these certain questions and you're trying to answer them. I myself um, have taken it liberally and I have a notebook and I like write down um, my answers to those questions every day. And so I definitely, you know, recommend that. I recommend actually actually doing as much as you can um, within it. But yes, so this was a gift, um, a Christmas gift uh, in 2022 Christmas. I don't really know how to phrase that apparently, but um, it was a gift. And so I am doing it this month. Um, like I said, it's divided into days. So it's really easy to just open it and, you know, go to that day, go to January 20th, for example, this morning. That's what I did. Um, and it has already been absolutely amazing. I kind of realized, like, as, as I've started going through this, this Bible, um, with the schedule, you're flipping back and forth a lot. So specifically, um, if I can pull out the schedule again, I can be a little more accurate. Um, specifically at the beginning of the year when you're in the Old Testament, um, you're reading in Genesis, but then you're also flipping to First and Second Chronicles often um, because in Genesis it's it's kind of outlining the lineage um, of all of these people. Um, and in Corinthians, it kind of, uh, excuse me, in Chronicles, it condenses that a little bit, um, and then it extends on it in Genesis. And so you're kind of flipping back and forth, um, and it, for me, got pretty confusing, um, when I was going through this Bible, I would have to flip from, you know, the Old Testament to the New Testament, um, and it was totally fine, like, I, I didn't mind it, but reading through this Bible, I realized kind of how much I missed and how um, just nice it is to have it next to each other instead of, ha instead of having to flip. Um, I can kind of make those connections a little bit easier. Um, it's also, and I, I got this um, from doing it last year as well, but one of the most beautiful things that I realized is how just amazing it is that we we have the bible in our hands we have this book that is is true it's the inspired word of god yet it was written in a crazy order and the people like uh moses wrote the first five books of the bible but it's talking about what happened to um adam and eve and creation and, and all of those events but somebody else completely different wrote it um and that's just has boggled my mind at the beginning of this year reading reading through it again um so i think it's just a reminder of how there's there's always more to learn from the word um and that is not supposed to be a burden it's supposed to be exciting and it's supposed to be encouraging um that just like jesus love never ends for us our understanding you know we can never understand him completely but we can also never cease to grow in our understanding um and that is so beautiful um so yeah, that is what I am doing this year. I will link this Bible down below. It's like $26. It's not expensive. Um, that's, you know, eating out a couple of times for one person. And so just to be able to spend that money on something like this, on something that can truly change your life, um, is so wise to me. So wise. And so I am so thankful to have this version, to be reading it. Um, and I'm super excited to continue this journey over the course of 2023 um and finish it and i definitely plan to kind of share my thoughts again at the end of the year on on the specific bible this one actually came out um i believe over the course of last year it has not been out for very long it wasn't out when i started reading the bible chronologically last january um and so that's cool to me to be able to kind of take advantage um of that as well so as a whole um if you're kind of on the fence of 
about starting a study like this, um, I would say do it. Do it. Um, there'll be some harder days. There'll be some harder books to get through. There'll be some things that you don't understand. But just being able to pull yourself into the world every single day in that way, I think, is so beautiful and so beneficial. Um, nothing replaces reading the actual word, whether that be reading it chronologically or just choosing a book um, and reading it. So, for example, Proverbs. The book of Proverbs has 31 chapters. And so I'm reading that um, over the month of January. There's 31 days. So I'm just reading a chapter a day. Um, I'm going through some of the New Testament right now. Um, um, as well. I'm currently reading in Romans, um, but I've read in Ephesians and Colossians and Galatians and 1st and 2nd John this year as well. Um, I'm in the process of memorizing James. And so I just think it's it's beautiful to have the desire to get into the Word and to know Him more, but we aren't going to um, be able to have that desire or fulfill it if we're not actually taking that first step of just doing it a little bit each day. Um, so yeah, I think I think the biggest thing um, that, maybe not the biggest thing, one of the biggest things that I've taken away from this um, in Galatians, uh, it talks about, um, you know, the, the fruits of the Spirit. And those are the things that are evident in our lives um, because they're evident in Jesus. And when we invite Jesus into our hearts, um, what is in should flow out. And so um, the fruits of the Spirit are love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentle, gentleness, and self-control. And those are things that I want to be evident in my life every single day. And spending time with Him, devoting myself to Him, um, sacrificing my life every single day to strive to glorify Him and to bring Him honor um, and everything I set out to do. This has been one of the most beautiful ways to learn how to do that is to pour myself into his word. Um, I personally feel um, called into ministry, specifically kids ministry at my home church. And so um, I am so excited for what the future holds um, in just in the realm of that and continuing to pray about it and, and all of those things. Um, but I know that I can't do that well if I don't have his heart within me, his word within me, um, because I want that to be what flows out, not, you know, sinful, um, human tendencies. Um, I want Jesus to flow out of me. And so I, I will never fully succeed at that. Perfection cannot be achieved, but at the same time, except through Jesus, <laughs> but at the same time, um, I want to continually do better every single day. And so that is one of my ways of doing it. Um, I hope this video has been helpful. I know it's been a little bit kind of all over the place, just sharing thoughts. Um, but like I said, I hope that it's been helpful. I hope that it's encouraged you to get into the world more. Um, I hope that you've enjoyed it. If you have any other thoughts, please don't hesitate to leave a comment down below or a question or a concern or anything. Um, you can also reach out to me via email. It's listed down below, but it is thegristletangle at gmail.com. Um, like I said, thank you so, so much for watching. I hope that you choose to like this video and subscribe and then hit that bell so that you can be notified every time I publish a new video. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, bye.